I'm Adil Kumar. Here is another very interesting question on annuities present value. Sam borrows $10,000 at 4.8% per annum compounded monthly. He decides to make monthly payments of $250. How long will it take him to pay off the loan? So, so that's the present value and we need to find in this particular case the duration in which the loan will be paid, right? So in years and months, that is the objective. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So what we are given here is the present value of the loan, which is $10,000. Okay, so I'll just write the numbers. The rate of interest is 4.8% per annum. The compounding period is monthly. Since the compounding period is monthly, we should first convert that to decimals and then divide by 12. So we can write this as 4.8 divided by 1200, right? So that is monthly, right? So let's calculate this value. 4.8 divided by 1200, that is in decimals, uh, 4 into 10 to the power minus 3, that gives us uh, uh, 0.004, right? So that is the interest. Um, we know R, which is 240, the regular payments, 250, okay. So knowing this, we can always apply the formula and then rearrange to find the value of N, correct? That's the whole idea. So the formula is right there, given to you, present value equals to R times 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of minus N divided by I. So the present value is 10,000, so let me write down 10,000 equals to R, which is 250, okay, times 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.004 to the power of minus N, we need to find this, divided by I, which is 0 0.004, right. Now you can rearrange this, so you can write this as 10,000 times 0 0.004 divided by 250 equals to 1 minus 1.004 to the power of minus n, right? So let's calculate this value. So it is 10, 1, 2, 3 times 0 0.004 divided by 250 equals to, let's write in decimals, uh, it is 0 0.16, okay? So we have 0 0.16 equals to 1 minus 1.004 to the power of minus n. So let's rearrange 1.004 to the power of minus n equals to 1 minus 0 0.16, which is equals to. So 1 minus 0 0.16 equals to decimals 0 0.84, right? So that is what we have. Now, how do you find n from this? Well, the technique is to take logarithms on both the sides. So you get minus n log of 1.004 equals to log of 0 0.84, okay? So minus n is equal to ratio of these two, log of 0 0.84 divided by log of 1.004, right? So we can again use the calculator. So we have log of 0.84 divided by log of 1.004. That gives us a minus 43.6. Let me round it to 68. Okay. So we have the value here. Minus N is equals to minus 43.68. So from here, we can write what N is. So N is equals to 43.68. Now, what does it mean? So 43.68, these are the number of monthly installments, right? So, so we have N equals to 40, we can round this 43.68 as 44 installments. Is it okay? So regular payments, uh, there are 44 regular payments. 
Now, since this is compounded monthly, we need to divide how many years. So, so the number of years, capital N, will be 44 divided by 12. Is it okay? So, we'll divide this 44 by 12, which is 3.6 recurring rate. So, it is three years and few months, correct? So, how many months? So, 0 0.6 recurring, right? So, so we'll do uh, point, let's say, 666 times 12 to figure out how many months. So, that is around eight months, right? So, this is three years and eight months, correct? So, the installments will be paid for three years and eight months to pay off the loan, right? So, that is the answer. So three years, eight months. I hope that helps. So it is a very important question. We have applied few techniques. This is logarithms to solve the number of installments. Uh, and then we converted that to year and months. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. So you can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.